What's up guys, Good Dodgers in here, back with another unboxing. Today, we are going to be unboxing Godzilla or Ryan or Yoshi poster version. Um, I was supposed to, I got this figure last year, and I was supposed to make a full video on me unboxing it, just like I did with this figure right here. But, the video got lost somewhere, and I don't know where it went and then I lost the motivation to make the video because I was angry because something already happened but I'm here today making it so please don't be mad well you can't even be mad you don't even know but I'm here today and yep also this guy is here because I finally got the batteries for him and I'll be showing you how to how to make him roar his all three roars his two music soundtracks and his stomping and all that but for now let's get to the actual figure so on this side you got Godzilla right now Yoshi poster version with a nice little image of Godzilla you got well you've already seen the front but you can see the two parts of the Orion or Yoshi version Mecha Godzilla you got the SH Monsters Godzilla's right now Yoshi poster version again you have a nice little kinda like out oh, background of Godzilla on here and you have the back of the box which has Godzilla posing and stuff and then you got small what's this movie card on the bottom of there alright now let's get to the figure um a lot of people I've been hearing don't really like this figure but I actually really do like this figure a lot. I mean, you know, I know SH Monster X doesn't always hit every goal with their paint apps, but I actually kind of like the paint apps on here. Um, I think it's actually really, really good. Well, not really, really good because there are some blue splotches and stuff, but I still think it's pretty cool. The coolest part of this figure, well, the two coolest parts, is that it already comes with pre-lit dorsal fins which you can use to help you in stop motion like you can use this or you can like take a, like a little blue light and flash it that can help you and the eyes let's see if we can get this perfect if we can get this right you can see that the eyes are like red with a red outline with a yellow kind of pupilly inside. It reminds me a lot of GMK's eyes and I love GMK's eyes. I think they're like I think these eyes are more enraged than 2001's eyes. And I think that's pretty cool. Now this is a repaint of the 1995 Rebirth version. And even though it is a repaint in like the sixth repaint of this figure, you know. I guess I just really like this sculpt. But yeah, this figure articulates just the mount is the same as the regular birth version. But this one's a little bit, you know, still stiff because, well, it shouldn't be stiff after almost, almost a year of having this figure. But yeah, I don't really move it around too much because I'm, I don't know. You can still hear those kind of you know creaks even though like after after a certain amount of time you, you really don't hear that when you move them around a lot but yeah I really like this figure it's pretty cool Get closer and yeah Sadly, it doesn't come with any, you know, atomic breath. If it came with atomic breath, that would be really, really cool. But, you know, SH Monsters are cutting back with their accessories. So, yeah. But it does come with interchangeable hands, just like birth version. And it comes with one other thing. It comes with this awesome movie card, which is something that you usually don't get with SH Monsters. It's actually kind of new. So we can get a closer look at this. You got the Orion Noriyoshi poster version. 
of Mechagodzilla back there. That's the full form when he's all combined. As you can see, there's like a jet right there. And then you have Godzilla right here. Like his atomic breath is about to show, and he's like breaking like the top part of Mechagodzilla in his full form. This Godzilla right here. And then you have Rodan down here on the tank part of Mechagodzilla. And they don't have a repaint of Rodan. Actually, they only have one Rodan out for SH Monster Arts. But I heard about the poll on the SH Monster Arts line uh, website. I took it, and a lot of people don't agree with my choices. Like, I really want to Angerus. Angerus made it to top five, but a lot of people really want Titanosaurus, and I'm like, we don't even have a Godzilla or official Mecha Godzilla to go with that. And people didn't even choose Mothra in 1964, so we could just finish that whole set. And I'm like, hey, are you guys retarded? So, yeah. This is like a golden form Rodan, sort of, and he's holding, in case you're wondering, he's holding like an egg of uh, Godzilla's adopted son. And you got the back of the card, and yeah. So, overall, I think this is a pretty good figure. I think that you should pick it up if... I think you should only pick it up if you really like this movie or if you're fine with SC's Monster Arts paint apps. And if you're like I don't really get offended over their paint apps and but I do get I do get upset when I don't have well I feel like ex enough accessories or any accessories at all. And yeah. And then to this figure. So first Turn it on. Well, I know you, you guys probably seen a bunch of reviews on him. But yeah, turn him on. Well, you got the screw right here. And to turn him on, you just, well, it's on plus already. So you just turn it to O and to, to let you know Godzilla roars when you turn it on. So, yep. Just plug it back in. And when you're plugging in, make sure these hip pieces are out the way because that can, you know, prevent it from going in. And then you just make sure this hinge joint stays down when going inside. Oh. And then you just. And you'll know it's inside firmly when you hear that click. So, firstly, we start off with Run Roar. And then second roar. And third roar. Well, that's the same roar. I'm going to see if I can find. And that is the third roar. Um, next, to play his music, he has two music he has two ty different types of music from the movie i think godzilla versus tanks and then godzilla's theme so i don't know which one comes but i'll tell you when it comes on okay this is godzilla's theme oh yeah to make all these noises and light features appear you press this while this music is playing you can you can press it again To get sound more sounds and something that you don't get with regular just pressing the button regularly you have to do it while soundtrack is on but you know he stomps and then he roars yep it's pretty cool and to cancel it out anytime you just press and hold and if you want to play the next one you just press and hold again as you can see, he's playing a different one. And then you can do all that over. And yeah. And now it's time for, I think, is the most exciting part. The light feature. Now I'm going to see if, it, if it's better if I turn off the light.
That's actually pretty bright on camera. It's not as bright in real life, but I don't want to stop you from getting the figure. I think it's a great figure. Um, it is kind of a little pricey because of the extra features, and it would be awesome if they included some accessories, but I guess I feel like this sound feature, lights and sound lights and I forgot what the last one is but I think they felt like it was enough and it is pretty cool also there are three different ones you can do with the light up feature you have the short one you have the long one This is that long one. And then you have the medium. And yeah, that is all. I really like this figure. The, the even though I like it's actually pretty tall, as you can see, as I said in the unboxing video. But I think you need to gauge. This is the normal size of your Monster Arch figure, and it like twice as it got into this figure. I don't know what happened, but I think I I don't I really don't pay any mind to it. Anyway. But I think this figure is really good. I think I don't I wouldn't buy it for over two hundred dollars. Um I paid one sixty nine like I I, th I think I said that in the last video. But um yeah. He's worth the buy definitely. Um if you see him for a good price definitely pick him up I think this is great for all Godzilla fans but oh my gosh it's a spider okay well um yeah uh like I said earlier I think he's a great figure you should pick him up uh and yeah He's great for stop motion music and all that type of stuff. So, yeah. Let me turn the light back on. Stay good. Stay cool, Ghidorah fans.